and moving on to the next project, which is going to be adding a, like a water barrel. I changed the plan as we go. I finished running the, the gutter, which was my first job today before I got sidetracked and went down this rabbit hole. Right, it is a beautiful sunny Sunday here in, uh, in Canada, in BC. And so now the deck stairs are finished, I'm moving on to the next project, which is going to be adding a water collection device, like a water barrel, to collect the rain uh, when it rains, maybe. <laughs> um, so that mouse can then use that for water in the garden. And it's um, one step closer to being a little bit more green. So I'm here at Home Depot, I'm going to pick up some things to build a water barrel. Um, they do have water barrels in stock, but they're like $170 for just a basic water barrel. So I'm going to build my own using a garbage can and a little bit of plumbing. And uh, I think it's going to work out pretty well. Let's find out. All right, so the plan is that the garbage can is gonna become the water container. And I bought some extra parts here so I can modify the downspout from our deck drainage system. So when it rains, all the water should get filtered down into the, uh, into the new water barrel. Uh, I also picked up some pipe so I can build a little overflow system so that uh, if it rains too much and fills it up too much, the excess water can be drained off uh, automatically without us having to worry about it overfilling. And of course, the main reason we're doing this, I have a little tap so that mouse can fill up her watering can. Step one, uh, I've got to build a base uh, for this bin so that we can elevate it off the ground and mouse can get her watering can underneath. So I found a nice piece of four by four or three and a half by three and a half, I guess. Um, that used to be a fence post that we had in the garden for a few years, which is pressure treated, so we can use that. And I've got a little bit of lumber left over from when we did the, uh, the steps themselves. So we're gonna throw that together and build up the thing. Trying to use up scraps, scraps of wood that I have. And uh, like with all these projects, I change the plan as we go. pressure treated wood outside is a bit questionable but it's all I got right now so I've covered it in uh, as much uh, sealant as I can to make it last a little bit longer and realistically it's not structural so if I have to replace this next year or year after yeah so be it well the next thing I have to do is find out where to mount the spigot or the tap because I have this uh, nice reinforced area, which looks pretty good. And it'd be really useful to just put it right in the middle. I can't really put it into these little divots because it's not gonna get a good seal because uh, it's too big for that. But I could put it above, but then by the time it's in, this little ridge is gonna interfere with the tap. So it's gonna have to be maybe here. Maybe at the side, I think. 
Um, as with any project, there's always one little thing you forget. So annoyingly, there seems to be a shortage of flat washers in the city. Um, I was hoping to use a, a flat washer on either side of the connector for the, for the tap, just to help uh, make it a little bit more sturdy. So it's not just flexing the plastic all the time. And I can't find any. So I'm gonna have to use uh, this uh, component I found on a door lock, which fits perfectly and is going to give us a little bit more stability against the plastic. And we'll have to see how well it holds up. We've got the, uh, the tap mounted and installed. Uh, we've corked around the seal on the inside. Screw that in nice and tight. And then for the overflow, uh, I used the PVC cement that's meant to be used with those pipes. Uh, that one doesn't have to be as watertight because if it gets to that point and it starts leaking, it's got to come out anyway. I just want to try and control the flow of water as it comes out. So let's go and take this around the back and we can get it all assembled. That was a good job I uh, checked with the level. Because that was level. Oh, no, that was level. In retrospect, I think I could have built the platform a little bit more into the center. You can see the lid is actually um, slightly obstructed by the supports for the stairs. So that means that the whole water canister is very slightly off center. But um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Now I've got to go and finish running the, the gutter, which was my first job today before I got sidetracked and went down this rabbit hole of building a water tank. So, I'm gonna head out there, I'm gonna go and get these uh, new connectors all put in place, and then I'm gonna try and funnel the gutter drain pipe into our new water, into our new water uh, container. Is it going to be braced so that it's solid? Yeah, well, yeah, I've got some, some hooks there to put on. Let's not okay. put them on yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's good.
Rain. rain? Oh, nice. Awesome. That means we can test the new rain barrel. But we can't because you have, you're missing the last piece. To be well, we just, we'll just take the lid off. Uh -huh. Take the lid off your lap for now. So yeah, we're missing one last piece, and that is the elbow to go from here down into the uh, into the bin. In retrospect, I could have added a longer piece here, which would then have lowered that down. I think that's what I was going to do when I was in Home Depot thinking about it. That was my plan. This is my new plan. Is that because you cut it short without thinking of it? Do you not have any left? Well, I've got pipe. Yeah, I've got this stuff left, so we could do that. I could unscrew that, move that down. And swap them over. Yeah. That would work. You still need the downspout anyway. No, I've got the downspout. No, I, I don't downspout. have... The, yeah, downspout. well, yeah, but that, that just means that I'll move it down to there. And then, do you need an elbow at that point? So I was talking to my parents on, on uh, FaceTime, it's like, Hi! Hi, how are you doing today? <laughs> so the day after we put in the, uh, the water container, the water barrel, heavens opened up and started filling it up. Mouse is super excited because she gets to use it. And given how much it's collected in the past couple of hours, it should be full by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger tank. Okay, so yesterday it was raining all day, all day, which was perfect to test out the, uh, the water container. So, look at that, it worked. It's not leaking. Actually, it even looked like it got up to the, uh, to the overflow. One day of average rain. And we can fill it up. <laughs> 